House of Beauty, this is Beauty. Whatever happened to the time when a boy would pick you up at five, take you out to eat, text you all the time, treat you nice and sweet. I think it has to do with pride. They don't feel the need to compete because they think that you gon' take that shit. But boy, no, that's not me. I need a man to treat me good. Gotta treat me right Ain't the type of sort of fight Hey, good people. Thank you once again for clicking the link on VOD. My name is Shannon Casino. And it's your girl, Tasha B. And the OD is brought to you by The Social Maximus. Make sure you do subscribe and comment and share. We appreciate you all. All right? Ready to get into this topic today? Let's get it in. <laughs> Let's do it. We've been thinking about this topic. We've been talking about it all week like like what topic are we going to do <laughs> and um we got into a conversation about us being kids and when we were kids the good things the bad things um a lot of us were poor broke we ain't really have it all <laughs> um but there was one thing that stood out in the conversation and we just wanted to bring it to you guys today and that is who gets to discipline your kids when you're not around especially when they've been acting up who disciplines your kids is that allowed? Are you okay with that? Are you not okay with that? I remember when I was um, I was a kid, me and my brother, mm -hmm. when we was kids back back home in Boston, and um, there was this pizza shop on the corner, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, my, my mom and my aunts and uncles, you know, very popular in the neighborhood. Everybody knew them. They knew everybody. Right. And um, and so that, and, you know means everybody knew us. Right. So what ends up happening is me and my brother, this one Saturday, you know, kids, we go outside early in the morning, <laughs> you know, the pizza shops um, opens, opens up and it's probably, you know, we played all day and we play up and down the block. So uh, me and Raymond, my brother, we end up getting, uh, stop playing on the, on the bars of the, uh, of the, the pizza, pizza shop. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's like, you know, it's like up North, it's like the city bodegas. They have like, right. you know, they're built different ways and it's like little creeks in the wall and we was climbing on the wall and up on the window and we were just messing with the bars and hanging from them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the people in the store uh, of that owned the pizza shop didn't like when kids did that because they didn't want to be responsible for kids getting hurt. Right. Um, so it was this uh, this uh, Puerto Rican guy that lived in the neighborhood that my uncle was very, very cool with. And, um, and, and very cool with our family, actually. Um, well respected. And he came up to us and bopped us both. Bop! Bop! Oh, no. Get out of here, right? <laughs> <laughs> he got us. Bop! Bop! He's like, get your butt off of there. Da, 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 da. He's like, go down. He's... But... Um, so I was I was messed up by that because in my mind, you know, little hood kid, I'm right. like, wait till I tell my uncle you put your hands on me. Right. Right, you know? And um and I did say that to him. I said, I'm gonna tell my mother that you hit me. Mm -hmm. And he said, Go ahead, tell him. And sure enough, I told my mother and told my uncle that he did, and they did nothing. <laughs> They did nothing. And they actually turned around and got back on me and my brother about doing that because everybody knows that the pizza shop owners, you know, didn't like when people did that. Because right. Of, you know, the, the bars that they had outside, you can kind of, can't explain that part. But, um, so he did. He, you know, he bopped us. Bop, bop. Get over there and go play over there. And I'm going to be on this corner and messing with that. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So, um, so they did nothing. And, um, I have to say even today, um, that kind of helped me be the person that I am today. Yeah. Because back in those times, it seems like um, the whole neighborhood was raising your kids. Absolutely. You Absolutely. know, what do you, what do you feel about that? Like, you know, I agree. Uh, back in the day, you know, it was the neighborhood was the neighborhood. Now I hadn't, no one ever hit me, <laughs> 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 you 
you know, that right. wasn't, you know, related to me. Well, but me and my brother was kind of, we was, yeah. we was off the chain. We, we, were, we were real little boys. Right, We was right. into everything. But know? I definitely think the whole neighborhood had, you know, a say, you know, all the kids were outside playing all the time. You know, right. Miss Johnson up the street would say, hey, get off of there, get off my fence. Right, right. You know, things like that. But yeah. never, you know, I had anyone hit me. Now today, in yeah. today's world, today's society, that would never fly. A it's, lot of yeah. people today don't even want you to say anything to their kids, let alone even you know. Even when their kids are off the chain. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. parents have this thing today. It's like their, their kids are not wrong for anything. Right. The worst thing to see is to know that your kid is out in the street um, just being reckless and, and just off the chain. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, unfortunately may, you know, get, you know, get a run in with the police, maybe have to go to court. And then you have the parents that go to court and they're mad at the judge and they're mad at the, uh, you know, for, you know, for him getting, are you mad at him getting caught? Right. You, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, you know, for, for, you know, every action, there mm -hmm. is a, uh, a, a equal reaction of consequence. Right. Absolutely. And that's what ends up happening. Um, when kids go to school, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they're bad. And then you have the parents at home. That's like, you know, not my son, not my daughter, right. but these are the same problems when they come home from school that you have with them too. Right. You but know? you're ready to go up to the school and fight the teacher. Oh man. For disciplining your child. In today's world, you know, teachers don't discipline kids physically, but, no. you know, verbally, <laughs> you know, you say something, you, you know, put them out class, you, you know. Yeah. I'm going to tell my mother and you go home and the next day, the mom's at the school ready to fight. The mother <laughs> is really at the school ready to fight the right. teachers. Right. And, um, and it gives the child a, a false impression that, you know, they're right or that it is okay. They can get away with anything. Right. Because my mom's going to, you know. Right. Handle, handle anybody that, handle who says any, anything to me. Mom that, right, right, right. <laughs> um, I believe that there's, 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 you know, different levels of discipline as well. Like, right. you know, um, the physical is one side of it, but, um, but there's also the discipline of, you know, getting a talking to. Right, um, right. When I was in third grade, I had a teacher named Miss Brown, mm -hmm. and, um, and um, I went to the Paul A. <laughs> Dever uh, Elementary School in, uh, in Harbor Point. First yeah. of all, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but anybody named Miss Brown was <laughs> back yeah, in the day. Yeah. Your name was Miss Brown. Miss Brown. Woo -wee. Woo -wee. Yes, yes, she, uh -huh. she coming at you. Right, yeah, yeah. right. Um, at the church I grew up with, right. we had a, a Miss Brown, and right. she didn't play. She don't play with no kids. Miss <laughs> Brown don't play with no kids. Miss Brown don't play. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Brown at my school, I was in third grade, and she, you know, I was, you know, I, I was, I guess I was. I, Overall, in school, I was a good kid, but, you know, you're kids, so you, you, you have your days, you have your moments. And right. um, Ms. Brown jacked me up, <laughs> took me out in the hallway and jacked me up, said, now you need to pull it together. <laughs> <laughs> so discipline is different levels, um, the physical, and then there's um, the discipline of verbally speaking to a kid mm -hmm. to, to, uh, to get them, uh, get their head right, get them back in the game and, mm -hmm. and straighten up and fly right. Right. Um, so now... Here's the thing. In relationships, <laughs> in relationships, if you if you meet if you meet a man or meet a woman mm -hmm. and they already have kids and and and, and living in the home with that person, um, uh, responsible uh, raising their kids, mm -hmm. and you bring a new woman home or you bring a new man home, um, is it okay for that person to? Uh, discipline your kid when when the kid is being disobedient. Is it is it okay for them to physically discipline the kid? Do you think? Um, that I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think it will hmm. cause some problems between the child and the you know the step stepdad or stepmom. Step mm -hmm. Um, and even put a wedge between you all's relationship. Um, Absolutely. Because they're looking at like, you that. know, you're not my dad, you're not my mom. Yeah. You ain't my mammy. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but I think um, that's a conversation for the two adults to have prior to moving in and... Setting ground rules. Set, setting ground rules. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, for it to just, you know... Yeah. For, the, for that... I, for me, I don't think that would be okay. I mean, I, I do definitely think that they should have a role in disciplining the child, um, okay. maybe verbally yep. talking to them, mm -hmm. and um, definitely letting the the parent, their actual parent, when they're present, you know, know what happened, and you know, if they want to physically discipline them, let them do it. But right, right, right. In I, that case, that that's that's real sensitive. It's sensitive. I, I, yeah. It is. It is. I um, 
um, me, I, I, me in a situation like that, um, if I met a woman that already has a, a child, a children, uh, me and the mother is dating, mm -hmm. um, I don't feel as though it's my place to physically discipline mm -hmm. um, my child, right. uh, not my child, but their child, the, right. the child. Mm -hmm. no, I didn't mean to say my child, but but their their child. I don't I don't feel as though. Um, it's not my place. Mm -hmm. I would feel it's not my place to put my hands mm -hmm. on someone else's child. Right, right. You know, whether mm -hmm. I'm dating their mother or like, you know, and mm -hmm. we're in love and, you know, it seemed like it's going somewhere. Right. And she already has, you know, children from a previous relationship. It's not my place still mm -hmm. to put my hands on that child, if, even if they're acting up or whatever. Mm -hmm. What I do believe is... Um, it is. I think it is okay, especially if you've you, you're taken it to the next level. You you moved in. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you moved in together. You're paying bills. You're, you're feeding this kid. You're clothing this kid. Mm -hmm. I do believe that um, if the kid is out of line with mom or out of line in school with the teachers, I do believe as a man, especially we talked about it before. If you are a, a, you know a man and you're taking care of business and you're a leader mm -hmm. um, within within that relationship the kid is part of the package right so I right. feel as though yes um, I'm gonna sit that kid down mm -hmm. um, and and speak to that kid and 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 set them straight verbally right um, verbally um, and two especially if uh, the kid's dad is actually still alive mm -hmm. still active in the kids life right. mm -hmm. there's no reason for me to go uh to get physical or, or anything really you know nowadays they'll say there's no reason to put put your you know touch a kid physically right. at all mm -hmm. um but we come from a different era we right. come from a different right. a different time growing up just listen, keeping it real i believe um, in spanking so listen, i will say that <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and look where i'm at today listen <laughs> spare the rods for the child right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, if the, if the, if the child's dad is, is still around and active mm -hmm. in the kid's life, then he's still dad. That's, right. that's his department. Right. Mm -hmm. That's his department. I can only speak to the kid according to under uh, what's going on under my roof, right. where I pay the bills, where I'm putting food on the table, right. putting mm -hmm. clothes on the kids' back, too, because it's still, like I said, it's still part of the package of the mom. If you got right. Men, if you are dating a woman and she has children, it is true that children are part of the package. Mm -hmm. Now, if the father is still alive and still around and still active, mm -hmm. he's still got a duty to do, too. It's still his child. Right. But under your roof, I still feel as though um, you still got to take care of that kid. Right, right. You know, absolutely. it just it just comes with the package of being with that woman, and right. that's what love is. I believe. You absolutely. Know, if I love you and I fall in love with you, I accept everything that comes with you, and I, mm -hmm. I I take on that responsibility. Right, right. But as far as you know, spanking and all of that, I'm not interested in putting my hands on people, other people's kids. Right. Mm -hmm. My own kid <laughs> might be some. Uh, you know, right. might, might have to go down. Right. But um, not anybody else's kid. Not anybody else's kid. Yeah. Now, you know, you know, as they say, it takes a village to raise a child. Absolutely. So I think one of the other things to look at is the relationship between the child and the adult who's disciplining them, um, as well as their parents' relationship with that person. That all the time makes a big difference. who can yeah. discipline their child because yeah. you know yeah. there's certain people in my family that I would allow to discipline my child and mm -hmm. certain people in my family that I wouldn't <laughs> oh, absolutely yeah just because right. their family don't mean that you know they, they get that right that uh, authority over your kid right you right because some people every, there's a lot of people that think that you know um, if you relate it to me then I am that authority and I can spank right. you but mm -hmm. no, you know, some people, like you said, it's a, it's a new world out mm -hmm. here. And even people in your family, my family, their family, mm -hmm. people are reckless right. and are not balanced when it comes to those type of things. So not everybody right. is, you know, gets that privilege yeah, of authority. You don't, you don't get yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah. I do do believe if you're if you're leaving your kid in the presence of another adult and they do something wrong yes. in their presence and you're not there, I do believe they have. 
you know, mm -hmm. that authority or, or right to say something to the child, disciplinary, say, say something, speaking on what they did. Yeah. Um, You're speaking of, of, of like a family member, maybe. Family member, teacher. Te if they're, teacher. They're, they're in school all day with these teachers, if you yeah. you know, you got a little badass. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they acting up in right. school. Right. You know, the teachers are with their kids, you know, yeah. a long portion of the day. Absolutely. If they are acting up in school, teachers have the right to say something to their child. Absolutely. You know, yeah, going I, yeah, going back to to Miss Brown. Mm -hmm. That's you know, she's my teacher. She, I, I see her every morning, mm -hmm. um, every morning. You know, five days a week, and she knew my character. She knows my personality as a kid, and it's twenty five of us. Mm -hmm. So she knows the personality of each kid. Mm -hmm. So she knows the day that she jacked me up. She knew I was off of who I who I am. Right. So she. she she got in there so mm -hmm. that's um that's still you know teachers are still human she's right. that was a motherly instinct mm -hmm. that was um her doing her job in instinct she, you know i was interrupting the class mm -hmm. you know i was being a badass right you know <laughs> that day you know <laughs> <laughs> so i feel as though a teacher to to a certain degree do have that um that uh, that that privilege of authority right. in a situation like mm -hmm. that, and she did. She grabbed me by the collar. And she said, "You need to pull your thing together <laughs> <laughs> and just cut it out and sit on the other side and split up with them because right, you're right. off the chain today." Right. And and it's like I I didn't like it then, mm -hmm. but I appreciate that now. Mm -hmm. And um and I wish that you know um you know like I said the world is crazy. Right. Um, all these things are kind of like against the law now. Right, you know? everything. Um, so it's, it's you know, kids are growing up um, thinking that they're, uh, I can do what, whatever, whatever I want. I there's want. no consequence for me. Right. Whether in school, at home, there's no, it's like that something should, should make, uh, should teach a kid consequence mm -hmm. um, as they grow up. And, and as they grow up on different levels right right uh, d d different levels mm -hmm. you know as you know of course when you know a certain age is time out mm -hmm. you know i i get that too cuz that's necessary right i mm -hmm. get that but then as you get older the, at levels there's a you should know you should know better right you should know better mm -hmm. so if you don't know better pop pop mm -hmm. you know what i mean like you know right. that it is what it is <laughs> absolutely so when when kids are when when kids are out of line like yeah, you definitely want to correct that because it gives them, like I said before, it gives them a sense of, you know, a, like a false, you know, feeling that they can get away with anything. And when they grow up and get into society, if they, they can walk around and do whatever right, they want, right, there's, right. there's real consequences out here. Yeah, it's, and life is <laughs> all consequences out here. Right, you and know? you call and you wonder why kids are walking around privileged and, right. and thinking that, you know, well, yeah. why not? Well, Abo why can't I do this? Above the law. <laughs> Above the law. And then, they end up, and then they end up in, you know, in bad situations and they have a long time to sit and think about what they did and then they grow up mm -hmm. in those situations, those consequences and they grow up and say, man, I'm not even like that no more, man. Right. Like, why? So you have to, you know, I think discipline is important. Mm -hmm. But the, the topic today is who gets to discipline your kids? Is it family? Is it, does the new boyfriend or the new girlfriend get to discipline your kid? <laughs> um, does, uh, you know, does a teacher get to discipline your kid? Um, who gets to discipline your kid? Mm -hmm. um, you let us know. Send us uh, a comment. Send us... Uh, uh, any message that you want because we want to talk more about this. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let us know. Comment. You know, we want your feedback. As we said before, we want to make this interactive. Let us know your thoughts. Um, comment, share, give your opinion. Yes. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with y'all. Tune in next time to the OD. Once again, this is the OD Open Discussion brought to you by The Social Maximus. My name is Shannon Casino. And I'm Tasha B. All right, y'all. Till next time. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Click the link. I see ya. <laughs>good people thank you once again for clicking the link and joining us on the od the open discussion brought to you by the social maximus be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to like and share the episodes with your friends once again my name is shannon casino thank you for watching